So guys, this is uh, chapter four, which is the checking account. Checking account has uh, six sections in it. So we're gonna start with section one. Section one talks about deposits. So here, what does what does it mean a deposit? When you deposit money in, the, in your bank account, uh, either a checking account or a saving account. So we can have both lessons, by the way. And uh, we're gonna be talking about ATMs. What does it do? What does it mean? And also a pin number. Uh, usually, a pin number with ATM goes goes along with each other. Uh, when you have a card and a debit card, you have a pen number with it. So if you want to draw money from your from the ATM, you need the pen number. So usually the bank will send you those uh, inform the information for your pen number and send you the card by email. But they'll send it a, on a different day, so they will not send it on the same day. So in case if you get lost, uh, somebody finds it doesn't have the pen number with it. So this way, you know, it's more security in, in this case. We'll talk about it in, in class as always. Okay, guys. So now this is going to be the section about depositing money. And here we're talking about money as a currency. Currency means a dollar amount, paper, paper, money, coins, coins like quarter, dimes, nickels. Um, so what else? Uh, that's it. That this <laughs> this is the section, by the way. So the second section is going to be checking, writing a, a check. Okay. Now, what does a check mean? It's a piece of paper that you write on it, but it has to be an official piece of paper that comes from the bank. Uh, you write the amount, uh, how much you want to pay someone, and then you sign it and you give it to that person, and this person goes to, the, to any bank and cash the check, all right, from it. Usually, usually his bank, usually his bank, the one, the bank that he has an account in it, when I say any bank, it doesn't mean any bank, but uh, the, his bank that he has an account with, or your own bank, the one you wrote the check from, okay? So if you write it from Bank of America, then you give it to someone who has a Wells Fargo, for example, an account. He could go to Wells Fargo and deposit it in his account, or he could go to Bank of America and cash it, even if he doesn't account, have an account, but he could do that because the check came from Bank of America, for example, okay? So we're gonna, uh, we have, we'll have an idea how to write it, you need to write the name of the person or the department that you're, you're in a, a department store. The amount has to be in numbers, and then you have to you have to write the number, the amount in in, in words. Okay, so it has to match. Any mistakes between those two numbers, the check will be cancelled. The bank will never cash it. A uh, date has to be uh, right. So if any any scrub, uh, you know uh, uh, scribbles on, on the check, the bank has the right to this you know disallow the check. Here's the person who wrote the check has to sign it. If somebody for give a check to you and you forgot to sign it, the bank will never cash it. So there's a lot of details, a lot of things that the bank will accept and not accept. Okay, so that's another thing. And uh, if we have time, we'll go to the, the 4.3, which is check registers. I mean, uh, what does it mean? I mean, when you write a check, you need to keep track of how much money you still have in, in your account. For example, if you have a thousand dollars and you write a check for nine hundred dollars you need to know that uh, what you have left is one hundred dollars so the next time you write another check if you, before you deposit extra money you need to make sure that you're not going to write a check that over a hundred dollars okay because you know that the check will bounce so uh, the check will never be cashed and it's gonna you know look bad on your credit and if some banks they do charge you fees for bouncing checks all right and if it's repeated a lot of times they might have uh, some kind of procedure that will disallow your account or, or close it or uh, something. It depends on the bank. Every bank has its own policy. Okay, guys, that's it. So I'll talk to you mm, next time. Bye-bye.